this video, we'll introduce FICO Analytic Modeler Decision Tree Professional with an overview of decision trees. We'll start by talking about what decision trees are and what they can be used for, and then we'll follow up with an example business rules. So what are decision trees? It's often a tree flowchart or tree diagram that expresses variables and how they're split, records are run through the tree, and at the end node an action or treatment is assigned. Some advantages of using trees include they're easy to learn and use, they can easily explain to others, they give you insight into complex data relationships, and because trees are expressed as business rules, they're easily deployed into operational systems. Some disadvantages of using trees, the resolution is not nearly comparable to a scorecard. They're very data hungry. There's really no look ahead capability, so you don't know for sure that you've got the optimal split as it relates to something like scorecard segmentation. So you might want to use other analytic tools in addition to a decision tree for that type of analysis. Large trees can give you poor node base prediction. That's a concept called overfitting, and they can also be difficult to interpret. Trees are widely used for different types of modeling exercises. They're also used for ad hoc analysis, such as detecting interactions or creating new variables. And finally, they're commonly used for business rule development, and that's going to be the focus of the rest of the presentation. Some example decisions that you might be interested in making are in the marketing or targeting space. What's the right offer to make to your prospects? Or as you originate an account, or as you have an account on the books and are managing it. These might be the steps involved in business rule development, implementing and evaluating your policy rules that are already in place today, analyzing variables to see if they add to your existing splits or what if you have the correct splits already on the variables. If you have new data sources available or new variables, you can use decision trees to evaluate them in addition to what you're already using. Once the segmentation is done, you can assign treatment and then assess the business impact of that treatment. It's usually an iterative process with several iterations before you're ready for implementation. So let's go through these one by one. The best strategies need a blend of business knowledge and data analysis, so understanding what your policies are, why they've been in place, and then using data to analyze them is that best combination. You should be looking at the importance of variables and what are the best splits for those variables, again, in addition to the policies that you have in place or what you've been doing today. Once you've got your segmentation complete, assigning treatment, which can be based on policy or performance. Analyzing that treatment at a summarized level and understanding it across a variety of different outcomes can be very helpful. Not just understanding the bad rate or average revenue by treatment, but also understanding how the treatment distributes across populations such as your bad accounts can be very interesting. After you've reviewed the treatment summary, you'll probably see some changes that need to be made. So you may go back to the tree and do some new segmentation, or to the leaves to understand how the existing tree segments the population by a variety of performances. When you're ready to implement your set of decision rules, if you're in the FICO Analytic Cloud, you can output them into the FICO Decision Management Platform. If you're using a standalone solution, such as Blaze or Triad, you can output code from Decision Tree Professional in a format that can be imported into those solutions. Models and modeling documentation can be output to the FICO Model Central solution. As part of the FICO analytic community, you're welcome to submit questions, ideas, or insight in your use of decision trees.